Hi, in today's quick tip video, we're going to be looking at a new function that has been added to the downloadable version of Canvas Workspace. This new function only works in the downloadable version of Canvas Workspace. It is not available in the browser-based version. So this is how it works. So I have my 12 by 12 mat selected and I'm going to add a pattern onto the mat. I'm going to go to the edit menu and I'm just going to resize this to suit my project. And I'll fill that with colour to make it a bit easier for you to see. So this new function is called Fill Page. It enables you to quickly duplicate designs multiple times in one click to fill up a mat with the same design or designs. Okay, so I have my design selected and under the edit menu on the right hand side, you'll see we have a new icon, Duplicate. If I hover over, you'll see it says Fill Page and all you have to do is just click and your mat is filled with your design. So let's delete that off. So it also works with other sizes of artboard. For instance, it'll work on the 12 by 24 mat. So let's just say, um, I want to duplicate this bird. I'm going to go to the edit menu and hit duplicate field page. And as you can see, that's done a really good job. This is excellent for batch making. If you have to cut multiple items, this saves you all the hassle of um, duplicating one by one or duplicating rows one by one. So I'm going to delete that off. Okay, so this also works for the roll feeder. So I'm going to go to Artboard and select Rolled Material. I'm just going to choose a very small design from the Vinyl Auto Blade Kit. Go to the Edit menu and hit Duplicate Fill Page. And now I have the whole of my roll feeder cut area covered with this small design. So if I delete that off, and we're going to go back to a 12 by 24 mat just for ease of use. So you can also do this for multiple designs. So I'm going to drag some designs onto the mat. I found that it works best if you line up the designs you want to cut in a row first of all. So let's just choose a couple more. So I have my selection of designs on the mat. I'm just going to left click and drag to select all of them. And again, under the edit menu, just hit duplicate field page. So I'm very, very happy with this new function in Canvas Workspace. So thank you to Brother for adding it. So if you have either the printable sticker kit or the printer cut card, you'll be able to select an A4 size workspace. So to do that, I'm going to go to Artboard and scroll down and select A4. And once again, I can just drag some designs onto the screen. Select them. And my A4 workspace is filled with designs. So if you work with the A4 cardstock size, 
you'll be able to easily and quickly fill up an A4 page um, and pop the cardstock on the mat and cut it out. Where I think this will really come in handy though is with the print to cut function. I have the print to cut function um, activated on Canvas Workspace and this is an extra purchase. And the activation cards are available in the UK from Maker Superstore. So next I'm going to select show registration mark. And this is part of, as I said, the print to cut function. So I'm going to hit image tracing. I'm going to bring an image into my computer. And you can see the software has traced um, my outline. And I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to resize my sticker down. And now under the edit menu, all I have to do is again, hit the fill page function. And I have a whole page of stickers ready to go. So I can just go to export PDF, images only, and save that to my computer to print off. So if I click and open the PDF I've saved, you'll see that I've got a nice page full of stickers ready to print off and cut. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to be notified every time I upload another video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment and I'll see you in another video. Thanks for watching.